Howdy folks, I'm out here with Gold Coast Fit, getting a GCF workout in at the park today. Beautiful day out and uh, a wonderful opportunity to get a micro session in here at the park. All you need is a band or two. We're focusing on the pecs, the chest, uh, specifically the upper chest region. That's where we're targeting up the, uh, the clavicular portion of your pectorals. Uh, and we're using bands in a manner where we pre-fatigue uh, the pecs and then we do a compound exercise that incorporates the pecs. So this is a pre-fatigue superset and remember that a pre-fatigue superset involves first more of an isolation exercise and second more, more of a compound exercise. So uh, the two exercises we're going to couple together anywhere from 8 to 15 reps with a good controlled tempo, good controlled contraction uh, and keeping things strict, two exercises we're coupling are a, uh, a banded incline chest fly. So you might use a medium heavy band or a, a medium sized band. I'm going to test it out with both. And so the incline chest fly, incline banded chest fly, will proceed an incline push up. Both of these target the pecs, but more specifically, since they're incline. Uh, dominant, they'll target the upper pec. So give you a little side view here if that helps. Give you a couple different views. We'll loop the band around our back like when we do push-ups, but we'll go a little bit lower down the back. Arms out wide, elbows slightly bent, shoulder blades retracted. We come upward at an angle, squeezing the palms together. Clench the pecs, and we really hone in and focus on the clavicular portion of your chest in the upper part of your pecs. Yeah, this works the pecs as a whole, uh, not so much pec minor, but a lot of the pecs, but we're focusing on the upper part of the chest, give you that plump pec lift type of vibe, since we all want that. Now this exercise, again, eight to 15 reps. Let's say that's 14. Notice I'm squeezing and contracting every time, opening up wide, not bending the elbows, turning it into a chest press. All right, let's say this is my last rep. Boom, you're going to go right into an incline uh, banded push-up. Now, you can do this on the floor, or you can do this elevated on something like a table, a bench, a chair. I'm going to use this table just to show you how. And, and just because I'm on the table, doesn't that's not what makes it an incline. I'm incline pressing relative to my torso. So in order to, to accomplish this, we poke the butt up. Normally we would do push-ups in, in a linear position like this, like a flat plank, but we're going to poke the butt up. And you'll see that when I do my push-ups on the table now, the angle of my pressing relative to the angle of my torso mimics that of an incline bench press, incline dumbbell press. And so that, once again, targets our objective of hitting the clavicular upper portion of the chest. Keep your butt poked up. You still keep your abs, glutes, hammies tight. It's still full body engagement. But this angle, and you'll see I'm probably pressing about 20 to 30 degrees relative to my torso, really does a great job of placing more emphasis on the upper pectoralis as opposed to uh, the mid or lower pecs like we would typically get from a push-up. And now I only busted out several reps there but I can already feel the upper chest working much more than it typically does on push-ups or on chest flies. So um, go give you another demonstration. Let's say this was my actual set. And I'm a little pre-fatigued for the pre-fatigued set here. So I might be closer to the lower end of the rep range, which is fine. So I'll go for eight good reps of each. Bump the band up here to my medium large band. Once again, band is lower on the back than a typical banded push-up. Up and together. Oh yeah, it's tough. Big squeeze at the top. Elbows are always extended with a slight angle. Really put your focus in the upper portion of your chest. Squeeze those palms together. Avoid bending your elbows and turning it into a chest press. A couple more. Oh, that really does the trick. All right, go right into the banded push-ups. To target your pecs even more, you might make your grip a little bit wider than you typically do on a push-up. Starting position, hips up. Now I'm literally pretending in my head like I'm doing an incline 
chest press, leaning back on a bench, on an inclined bench, whether I'm using dumbbells or barbells. Boy, darn near hip failure there. And I only did eight of each. Doing the pre-fatigue superset, and you make sure that you have very little rest between exercise A and B, is a very powerful tool for hypertrophy, for time under tension, uh, and to target a muscle more than you typically would be able to. So give that a go. You can do three to four sets of that, eight to 15 reps of each. Play with different resistances, play with different angles of your torso, poking your butt up more or less. Uh, play with different angles of incline on the band and really put your mind in the muscle, mind-muscle connection in the upper clavicular portion of your pecs. Give it a go. I'm going to do it three more times. Have fun.